Pip's Snuggle Session by Andrew's Archive. It was another tiring day for you in Maritime Bay as the sun was slowly setting in the horizon. You've just finished your shift at your job and you now currently head back home to the Crystal Bright House, which was also home to the friends who first met you when you came to this world to finally enjoy the weekend. Those friends in particular being Sunny Star Scout, Izzy Moonbow, Zip Storm, Pip Petals, and Misty Bright Dawn. And while Hitch Trailblazer doesn't live here, he's still one of your good friends. It was honestly shocking that every pony in Maritime Bay didn't seem alarmed by your presence when you first ended up in Equestria. You half expected them to either run away from you or shun you, but that didn't even happen. Even ponies like Posey didn't seem to hate you. From what Sunny says, humans were considered myths in this world, believed to have once lived alongside ponies at one point before going extinct. Even you had to admit, that seemed pretty hard to believe, but you decided not to worry about it. You were able to get a job in this world, but just like any job, it was incredibly stressful. But it did pay well, leaving you with no choice but to bite the bullet. As you headed inside, you took notice that no pony was in the Bright House yet. You could only assume that they were probably off doing whatever ponies do in their spare time. You then walked on over to the nearby couch and took a seat. You let out a big sigh from all the stress of the work today. While not enough to cure your current exhaustion, you decided you could use some rest. You then turned over and closed your eyes, trying to take a nap. You groan in annoyance as you couldn't fall asleep. You opened your eyes as you glared at the ceiling. You felt like a young child on Christmas Eve night who was too excited to go to bed. But the difference was that you obviously weren't excited. No matter what you tried, you couldn't take a nap. Heck, even trying to listen to Pip's ASMR video wasn't working. Welcome. Speaking of the devil, you suddenly hear the Bright House's doors swing open as it made a loud noise from hitting the walls. You opened your eyes to see none other than your mare friend, Pip Petals herself. In the flesh, flying into the Bright House, she seemed to be happy about something. Ever since she laid her eyes on you that day, she instantly fell for you, and you had to admit how cute she was. Oh, hi there, love. She greeted you. Hey, Pip, you reply to her, still exhausted. How was your day? Oh, it was totally great, she replied. Business at Main Melody was more incredible than I pictured it today. Me, Jazz, and Rocky definitely had a field day today. You smiled softly at her. If only you could say the same today, or any other day. While she gets to enjoy her work, you pretty much suffer a lot every day since you got here. You sighed as your smile faltered. Pip took notice of this as she slowly descended until she made it to the floor. Oh, what's wrong? She asks. Long work day? Yeah, you confirmed. I just want to get some good relaxation. Sorry if you wanted me for any live streams for the rest of the day. I'm just not feeling it today. Oh, don't worry. I'm not here because of that, silly. She said, looking a bit nervous for shaking her head. I was planning on doing that tonight, but judging by how tired you look, hmm, I think the pip squeaks can wait another hour or two. You didn't expect something like that to come out of her mouth, but you were happy to see that Pip was focusing more on her life outside of social media. Come on upstairs, she gestured as she started flying up to the second floor. You got up from the couch and started walking upwards to meet Pip there. As you made it up there, you see her sitting on the edge of her bed. She 
looks over at you as you walk to her. I can tell you're having trouble falling asleep recently, love. She spoke, her expression turning into pity. I would know. How so? You ask. Well, let's just say that when me and Zip were young, we had trouble falling asleep from time to time. But when Mum got a hold of our sleeping problems, she would always let us cuddle with her at night. Whenever that would occur, she giggled. But I wonder if I might have gotten her golden touch, if you get what I mean. You blushed hearing this. While you didn't mind cuddling with her, you felt a tad bit awkward doing so. After all, she's a pony and you're a human. But then again, you were desperate for a nap. I... I don't see why not, you reply afterwards. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. The pink pegasus beams before, pointing at the other side of her bed. Now you get yourself comfortable and I'll lay on top of you. Then we'll go from there. You did as you were instructed by the pink pegasus and walked over to the side of her bed and laid against the soft pillow she had. You had to give it to her. She had a great taste in pillows and mattresses. It was the coziest bed you've ever laid on. Before you could admire the soft bed, Pip then crawled up to you until her head was inches above your chest. You feel yourself start to sink into the bed a bit due to her added weight onto you. Pip then made eye contact with you. She's even more adorable up close. All right, now what? You ask. Now we cuddle one another until our eyelids get heavy, Pip replied her voice now down to a more mellow and soft tone as she continued to lay on you. She then reached up to her tiara and removed it from her head before setting it gently on the dresser next to her bed with her phone as well. It really felt weird seeing her without it, but she was still adorable to you no matter what she looked like. Pip then turned her attention back to you and lowered her head slowly onto your chest. She then wraps her front hooves around your waist and let out a softer yawn. You also did too, since they were more contagious than any disease in the world. You then started rubbing and scratching her back, up to her neck and a few inches away from her tail. You also felt and preened Pip's soft wings too. Mmm, Pip cooed. That feels nice, love. Keep doing it. You obliged your royal mare friend's request and continued... Her smile was honestly your favourite thing to see while you cuddled her at this moment. You didn't want it to end, and you could tell she didn't either. Hey, she spoke out softly again. Do, do you think you can pet my mane too? Are you sure? you ask. I can always fix it, she replied as she gave you the puppy eyes. Please. You knew she always would do this to you like she has done in the past, but you just couldn't resist her cute face. You lifted up your hand and spread your fingers into that soft, silky purple mane of hers and started using your fingers as a comb. Pip was basically biting her lower lip as you continued to pet her mane. Those hands of yours are a real blessing, love, Pip said. After a while of petting her mane, Pip then spread her glorious wings and rested them across you as if she were trying to use herself as a blanket. She then looked up towards you and suddenly got closer to you and gave you a small kiss on the cheek. Sleep tight, Pip said before she moved her head back to your chest and slowly drifted off. You then felt your eyelids growing heavier and heavier as you felt all the stress within you release. She had actually done it. She was able to relieve you of your constant stress. Perhaps, just perhaps, you and Pip could make this a constant thing. Tell me you see me just as I see you. I want to grow up with you. Cliche to say, but it's true. Do I have
Business at Main Melody was business at Main Mel to meet Pep there. <laughs>